What is going on guys, it is right here, and as you can tell by the title, this is the fifth episode of the Borussia Dortmund career mode. Now, if we could hit five likes on this video, that would be much appreciated, and there should be another one coming tomorrow. And also, follow us on Twitter, the link, and Twitch, the links will be down below in the description. Now, we're coming off a pretty topsy-turvy episode last one. We did beat Bayern, which was a massive, massive achievement, and today, we're going against Eintracht Frankfurt now. Playing pretty solid team in Mobley, Blachikowski and Royce up front. They're all our most on, our most on form players, I'd say. And we didn't get off to the great start. Ten minutes in, and the left back, I can't say his name. I, I'll just butcher it. Oz, oh, you can see in the bottom left of the screen, who is about to actually go and score again, I do believe. Which is... <laughs> 2-0 down to Frankfurt inside half an hour in the game was not great. But thankfully, Royce start, he's actually starting to perform in this episode, guys. So I'm very, very happy with him. Poor clearance from the right back. And Blachikowski with a great ball in. And Immobile, or Immobile, or Immobile, good header into the top corner. So half-time, we're 2-1 down. We need to improve much better in at the second half. Didn't make any changes because I felt the team was performing much better after we conceded too, and we got off to a good, good start, pretty much straight from kickoff, really. Immobile got the second to bring us level, finally. And then the goal scorer for Eintracht Frankfurt, Os Os him, Ospika, Ospika, don't know how to say his name, got sent off for his second yellow offence, and this changed the game massively. Already at 2-2, and then we decided to go, why not? Just smash him, really. So, Immobile completing his hat-trick with a lovely little sort of side bicey, making it 3-2 after 81 minutes. And then Marco Royce with a wonderful run past Flume and a great finish from Blachikowski. Kept his cool as the ball came across the box. And Marco Royce, guys. Marco Royce has finally done it. His first goal of the season. What a finish. What a run it was from him. Probably my the best player in that game, bar in my play, he did get that 9.9 .9 rating. And as, as you can see, we did deserve to win 11 out of 13 shots on target. As we go into the next game with Jojic, Sahin and Kagwa all making up the midfield this time. Pretty much unchanged side other than that. Hoffenheim with the next team and my God, are they doing well. They're about fourth in the league at the moment, I do believe. They're doing extremely, extremely well and hopefully... We can turn them over, but a massive blow to the side, guys. Matt Hummels seriously injured in this game, which is not good at all. And we brought on Hinter, or Ginter, and what does he do? The first thing he does is we in penalty, the in mongrel. Idi what an idiot, but we saved the penalty through Weidenfella. I'm only joking, it was my fault who gave away the penalty. Shortly after, Roberto Firmino with the goal to put Hoffenheim 1-1 one, one up, and we had a good chance to level it straight away, but Immobile did not do well. Sazazali, why have I chosen Bundesliga? I can't say any of the players' names. Nevertheless, he made it 2-0, but we brought on Musa and Aubameyang, because Immobile was not doing great, and Musa, what a start for him, coming off the bench to make it 2-1, and he had a chance to get us back level, but... Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. We did lose 2-1 in that game against a very high-flying Hoffenheim. And hopefully we can do better in the next game as Adrian Ramos returns. He's not starting. However, he returns to face his old team. And Mobley has been on pretty good form recently. Um, started and he had a chance, but he was tackled. And what is going on there, guys? If you could tell me what happened there. That will be much appreciated. And watch this triple save from Weidenfeller and goal. Really well done. Poor defending from me. Probably should have scored Hertha Berlin. They weren't the most powerful shots, but Weidenfeller did save. And we had another chance as well to try and get back into the game. After, well, to try and lead the game. Sorry. And so did Hertha Berlin. Lots of big chances for each team. And we brought Ramos on to face his old team. And if I'm honest, he did absolute fuck all, if I'm completely honest. He was so... Quite like, they just knew how to play him. Knew how to play him. Stocker getting very, very close there. Trying to make it nil-nil. But finally, the deadlock was broken by Bujuman. I don't know how to say his name. And he did get a second to make it 2-0. 78 minutes in. 2-0 down to Hertha Berlin. Not good. The only thing Ramos did was on the 95th minute. So, thank you for doing nothing the whole game. And this is what he did. <sighs> It was so anticlimactic. I thought he'd done so well as we lose 2-0. Another loss in the game. So 
getting back onto that form where we're starting to be very topsy-turvy. As you can see, 5-5-5 five, five, five on our win-loss ratio. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.